Hey everybody and welcome to, as you can see, Boston, Massachusetts. I'm here over the Mass Pike on Berkeley Street. Today is June 19th, 2023. Got the aim up a little bit. There we go. Um, it's about 65 degrees out. As you can see, it's a bit overcast right now. You can see the brownstones over here. It is about 1.30 p.m., 1.38 to be precise. As you can see from this point on Berkeley Street over the Mass Pike, we can see a lot of the skyline here. But I'm going to head up towards the back bay. And this will take us there in this direction. All right, so we're gonna come up on the Liberty Mutual headquarters here. It's headquartered in Boston, I guess. Take a look up at their building, and there is a sculpture out front. Let me zoom in as we get there. It is the Uplift Sculpture. It was created in 2013 by Mia Perlman. And I think they're like, they continue with the sculptures inside. We're coming right up to it. Interesting sculpture, as you can see, it's in uh, like panels. And uh, across the street over here is going to be the Hotel AKA or ACA, I don't know, I guess it's, I'll call it the Hotel AKA. And yeah, let me aim at it. This is a, an historic building. As you can see, it says the City of Boston to Ple Police Department because it used to be a police headquarters from the 1920s to 1997. The structure is a late example of Italian Renaissance revival architecture. Uh, we take a better look from here. And right here is 200 Berkeley Street building. It's also known as the old John Hancock building. It's a 26 story, 495 foot building. It was succeeded by the John Hancock Tower, which is now actually called the 200 Clarendon uh, Tower, or just 200 Clarendon. It's actually right back there, see that? There you go. Uh, the building is known for the weather beacon at the top there, which displays distinctive light patterns as weather forecasts. It was built in 1947. From 1947 until 1964, it was the second tallest building in the city. And it was just one foot shorter than the Custom House Tower. Here we go, we can see the facade of the 200 Berkeley. It's a beautiful. There it is. also known as the Berkeley Building, but there are two buildings that were known as the Berkeley Building, which will come upon the other one, and basically just right ahead of us there. I'll start, uh, I'll tell you more about it as I go down the street here. Despite this overcast weather, it is an absolutely comfortable, beautiful afternoon right now. I think I have enough time to get across here with seven seconds left. All right, so this is the second Berkeley building coming up on my right here. The building was completed in 1905, and it is an excellent surviving example of Beaux Arts architecture in Boston. 
It was designed by uh, Stephen Codman and Constant Desiree Desbordel. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'll be able to swing around the front so you can get a better view from the other side as we get towards Boylston Street. There's a look down Boylston, but we're going to continue up. Okay, so coming up on my left is going to be the old Museum of Natural History. This was constructed in 1863 on a block that was set aside for the Museum of Natural History and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It's a beautiful building. The museum moved in in 1864. In 1951, it evolved into the Museum of Science and relocated to its current location on the Charles River. As you can see, it's currently occupied by R.H. Boston, the gallery at the Historic Museum of Natural History. It now houses four levels of retail space, and I believe it is a place where you can buy fancy furniture. But it does have a beautiful gallery and setup from what I could see. This is the Church of the Covenant across the street here, which is technically a Newbury Street address. It's a National Historic Landmark, which was built in 1865 to 1867 by the Central Congregational Church and is now affiliated with the Presbyterian Church and the United Church of Christ. It's built of Roxbury Pudding Stone in Gothic Revival style. Look at that tall tower. At the time of its construction, the church was the tallest building in Boston and retained its title until the Custom House Tower was built in 1915. Looks like it's undergoing a little renovation now, but still a beautiful, uh, beautiful architecture for sure. As we'll continue along Berkeley Street, across the street in these public alleys. Probably get some interesting uh, photos down them. And we're about to cross over Commonwealth Ave in the Commonwealth Ave Mall. we go we can have a look down Com Ave and this mall is a wonderful place for a walk or to take your dog out and down here there's also many historic statues up and down I'm eventually going to do a video on all of the statues on the Commonwealth Ave Mall I'm going to cross the street here so we can take a look at this gorgeous uh, house on the corner here, which I wonder if it's a museum or something, I'm not sure, but it's definitely gorgeous. This very ornate. It's wonderful. All right, so coming up on my left is going to be the First Church of Boston, which is located on the corner of Berkeley and Marlboro Street. Marlboro Street, sorry, established in 1630. Let me point at it. It was established in 1630 when our early settlers, including John Winthrop, arrived in Boston. The church was located in downtown Boston, but moved to the Back Bay in the 1860s. Let me take a good look at the front there. The church was gutted by a fire in 1968 and had to be rebuilt. 
Although the tower did not need to. I guess that is the original tower. And immediately to my right is the first Lutheran church in Boston here. You can see some of the, it's right now with the fences down. It was designed by architect Pietro Belushi and built in 1956 to 1957. Groundbreaking ceremonies were held on May 13th, 1956, and the church was completed in October of 1957. Here. And this is the Marlboro Street side. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And we are approaching the intersection of Berkeley and Beacon Street. Have some beautiful gardening and flowers in a lot of these homes here. You know what, I'll just walk all the way out to the Charles River as we cross Beacon. Take a look down. more beautiful flower pots. All right, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you uh, like my channel in general and you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, check out my photography at wayneoxfordphotography.com. I've been photographing Boston for well over a decade now. And other parts of New England, of course, and a lot of travel travel uh, photography. And I will see you next time. Bye, as I walk out to uh, Sturrow Drive.